Sure. Hopefully, we'll be good to do it this weekend if you want to head out there. You know, temperature wise, we're going to be okay. We do have rain on the way for the weekend, though. I think Saturday is the better of the two weekend days. So, if you're already thinking about those plans, uh, kind of keep that in mind. Now, today has just been picture perfect, even a little warm for some of us. Not used to it for uh, early March. We've got a couple of spots that are in the low 80s Mineral Wells, Breckenridge. I think even Burleson has been in the low 80s. Uh, we're watching DFW, 79 degrees right now. We were forecasting that high of 80, and sometimes we don't actually see it return as 80 degrees, but uh, in between those hourly observations, sometimes we see a degree or so of a difference. So uh, we'll keep an eye on that. Hopefully the official high was 80 degrees, uh, but at least it, we're right around there, and we're going to stay there through the next hour. But you do notice, especially the farther west you are, a little bit more cloud cover, and we're going to see these clouds really kind of building in for tonight. So I think by 8 o'clock, most in North Texas are still sitting in the 60s, even the mid 60s for DFW, but we will have partly cloudy skies at this point. And that cha transitions to mostly cloudy skies for tomorrow morning. So we're definitely going to notice more cloud cover for your Friday. In fact, I think most of the day uh, we might get a few peaks of sunshine, but really it's going to be categorized by cloudy skies, cloudy conditions. But it keeps those temperatures in the 50s to Tomorrow morning, and we will still warm into the mid and upper 70s. I think by lunchtime, you're starting to notice okay, it's getting kind of breezy out. Uh, south winds are expected at 10 to 20 miles an hour, could be gusting a little higher than that at times as well. So that helps to warm those temperatures into the 70s despite the cloudy skies. Should be topping out in the mid and upper 70s across North Texas when all is said and done. The other thing that you're going to notice tomorrow is an increase in the humidity as well. It's a southerly breeze, so it's pumping in that warm, moist air from the Gulf. So we've got dew points that. Are in the 30s right now. Uh, but by the time we get to tomorrow afternoon, we've got those dew points in the mid 50s, and they're staying in the upper 50s and even low 60s for the weekend. So a little bit more moisture to work with. And then we've got rain chances. Now, a dry line is going to move in from West Texas on Saturday. I still think the rain chances are very limited on Saturday, which is why I think Saturday will be the better of the two days as far as outdoor plans are concerned. Uh, we've got slightly higher chances for rain on Saturday the farther east you go. And then on Sunday, that cold front is approaching, so we've got higher coverage. Scattered showers and storms in the afternoon, late afternoon, and into the early evening. We're going to watch for a few stronger storms, especially to the north of I 20. And I think it's really kind of farther north and east you are, closer to the Red River, that we may see a few of those stronger storms. But this front blows through very quickly. Rain is going to exit by mid morning, but it will be much cooler as we make our way into next week. The first half of next week, we've got high temperatures expected in the 50s on Monday and Tuesday. Brief warm up by Wednesday and Thursday of next week, but the models are showing another cool down for the following weekend. So, warmer this weekend, you got to enjoy it, guys. Yeah.